Hey guys, video one of, I'm going to guess, two, somewhere between two and five. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, maybe you subscribe. By the way, thanks a lot for doing that. You probably have a pretty good idea of what my desktop looks like in Windows Vista. Um, aside from me changing my background, and I think I, I think maybe I changed a few desktop icons. Aside from that, what three gigabyte, four hour change did I make to uh, Windows? You probably can't really tell right now unless you've got really good eyes and you can see that down in the bottom right hand corner of my screen it says uh, a couple words that um, are pretty cool. So let's open the start menu. It might look a little bit different to you because it's not Windows Vista. Is it Windows Vienna? No. It's not. It's Windows 7. Uh, it's not officially named Vienna yet. They don't know. It's Microsoft. They won't know until about three hours before they release it and they won't even know when they're going to release it until about a week before they decide when they're going to release it. If that made no sense, good, it's supposed to, neither does Microsoft releasing operating systems. Anyways, review on Windows 7. <laughs> a little bit. When This is build 6801. If the guy who's watching this, if the guy who gave me this or helped me get this is watching this, I'm not going to say user account name so you don't get flooded with requests asking for it, but However, thank you very much, and I really do appreciate activation help. Uh, yes, guys, you still got to activate it. it. Sucks, I know. Um, but anyways, thanks, thanks a lot again for that. But anyhow, video one of between two and five, a short review of Windows 7. As you can see, there's still glitches. I've highlighted my games. Okay, there's my games. It's not there. It's transparent. My documents... If I highlight that stuff, it comes out fine. But there are still glitches with it. Sometimes when I go down and I click the Start button, it highlights itself the color of a of the button pushed in, and then nothing happens, like it's doing it right now. Then if I hit it a couple more times, it opens right up. Compatibility, I don't know if I already said that, but it's fine. I haven't run into one problem, except you might be able to see over here my battery gadget. little picture of the battery's gone, but I really don't care a battery it doesn't make that big of a difference the sidebar if I open Google Chrome which is my default web browser now in Windows Vista I would be able to have it like this got another new email I'd be able to have it like this and my sidebar would be there now as far as I know you can't do that it's I mean you can still drag stuff out onto the desktop and make it bigger and smaller but it I don't really know if I like what they did to the to Windows sidebar there's different themes now, which there's always been, but there's a couple different Vista themes. There with seven themes. I don't want to change it because it screws the graphics card up. It takes forever. Um, Windows Experience Index, still around. Mine used to be a 3.1 in Vista. In 7, it's a 3.0. My gaming graphics in Vista, 3.1. Now it's a 3.2. Graphics in Vista, 3.5. Now it's a 3.4. And primary hard disk used to be a 4.7 or 4.8, I think. Now it's a 3.0. I don't know why. I haven't done any changes. I don't really care. But anyways, that's still there. User account control. Still here. Definitely not as invasive as it was in uh, Windows Vista. Um, you've got a couple different options now. One, two, three, four. Between always notify and never notify. And I've got it on never notify. It's still annoying, but it doesn't dim your screen and go da da like that and wait for you to say okay or whatever. That, that was horrible. Office fully compatible. I'm going to open Microsoft uh, or Windows Media Player. I think it's still me Windows Media Player 11, but instead of being all black, it's white now. Not a big problem. The games, all the Windows games are still here. However, they added uh, internet games. Internet checkers, spades, um, and backgammon and plus more games from Microsoft. Click on that. It's going to open up IE8 beta. Comes with it and then you can download a whole bunch of cheap games. Probably cheap. I don't know. RAM usage is about the same as Windows Vista. I got 2 gig in this, 4 gig in my other machine, but I don't have Windows 7 on that. At least not yet. I'm using 1.16 gig, but I am recording a video. So, this brings us to the end of part one of a few. Thanks for watching. Thanks again for the person who got me this. And uh, please watch the other ones. Thanks again.